You've been summoned to the palace, Minister Kamsel. The Holy One is to hear the accusations against Minister End and question House Wolfort. Very well. So, Sorsley has made the first move. Serenora must not have been able to secure evidence against him after all. But order cannot truly be restored simply by sentencing House Wolfort. I must make of this opportunity what I can. So there is to be a trial. I see. The Holy One requires the presence of the Saintly Seven immediately. And here I thought you nearly had him, Wolford. Did I overestimate you? No matter. There is more than one way to trap a greedy boar. Now then, who will be best put to the task? The inquiry of House Wolfert, stood accused by Minister Sorsley End, will hereby commence. We of the Saintly Seven will preside over this trial. Serenor Wolfert, you stand before the Holy One. Do you swear by the Goddess to speak the truth? I swear. Minister Exham Marshall, you may begin the proceedings. We know Minister Sorsley quite well, having worked with him for these long years. But we know comparatively little of you, Lord Serenoa. Therefore, we must first determine whether you are worthy of our trust. Surely you have not forgotten his position among the saintly seven of the holy state of Hyzant? I have written it all down as tradition requires. Yes, I have read through your report. It is a sign of sincerity that you would proceed according to our customs. Indeed, I can confirm you are a man of honor and integrity. Once all presiding over the trial have had a chance to express their opinions over your report, we shall pass our judgment. I have nothing further to ask. Next, Minister Kamsel Farrant will make his inquiries. You must understand the difficult position you have put us in, sauntering into our home to denounce one of our own. We are a welcoming people, and so must be wary of those who seek to take advantage of our open hearts. If a stranger came to you with unfounded accusations against one of your people, I doubt you would take him at his word. Have you any proof of the foul deeds you claim have taken place in our land? I have a witness who has seen the salt being transported. One of the guards at the source. Oh, one of our citizens. Any entrusted to protect the source must swear an oath of honesty to the goddess before assuming duty. Well then, it seems we ought to consider the matter a little further. I have nothing more to ask. Minister Tenebris, if you would. 
It isn't strange that lay people would fail to grasp the goddess's infinite wisdom. We seven, however, do understand her will. For most, our teachings are the only way they know how to live according to her plan. It is moot to judge Sorsley, one of the seven, based on evidence brought against him by a lay person. No matter what that evidence may be. Unless you have testimony from one who understands the goddess's will, there is simply nothing we can do. Lord Claris of the Consortium is the one who informed me of Sorsley's secret ledger. If you cannot believe me, you must at least believe him. Lord Claris is indeed a man of excellent character. But he's still a mere merchant. One whose heart is ruled by coin cannot possibly understand the goddess's will. I've no further questions. Minister Lila Viscraft, ask your questions. It is plain to me that Sorsley has indeed engaged in misconduct, namely bribery. Yet while I do not doubt he bribed an official of Glenbrook, what the bribe was for remains unclear. Perhaps you can shine some light on the matter, Lord Serenoa? The ship that disappeared in the night must have been carrying unlawful salt. He'd have wanted to keep that quiet. Yet rumor of such a ship has reached even my ears. Would it not be an utter waste of coin to buy a single person's silence when so many have already heard the gossip? I have no more questions. I, Edor Delmira, will ask one final round of questions. I cannot deny, Lord Serenoa, that Sorsley can be foolish. But he is also dedicated to the goddess, and he has worked much good as one of the seven. Though he is not faultless by any means, I believe the goddess yet favors him. If we are to pass judgment on such a man, we must prove his guilt to the goddess herself. So let me ask you this, Serenoa Wolfort. Where exactly are we to find such evidence against Sorsley and... There must be some evidence in House End's encampment. Ah, yes. The goddess would not be able to see into a place so stripped of faith. Perhaps we would be remiss not to search the encampment on her behalf. My questions are done. Now we will confer with one another. The Holy One will pass judgment after hearing our opinions. Saranora Wolford, the Holy One has passed judgment. House Wolford is found to have spoken true. Therefore, we find House Wolford innocent and declare Sorsley End a traitor. <gasps> what? Calm yourself. It seems the Goddess has mercy yet to give you. Praise her, and praise her wisdom. What mercy has she for me? You will stand in combat against House Wolford. Whomsoever emerges the victor will be cleansed of their sins. Combat? But your sins are indeed heavy, Sorsley. Therefore, we give this to House Wolford.
It will be as the Hierophant has decreed. House End and House Wolfort will battle until the other falls. May the Goddess of Salt bestow her eternal mercy upon the victor. Am I hearing this right? So guilty criminals get to walk free if they win? We've no choice but to do as they say. It is what the Goddess teaches. And likely the outcome agreed upon by those who view Sorcelay as a threat. Whatever the case may be, we must fight. And we must win. They are united in their desire to destroy me. And it is your fault! You will pay for this, Wolfort! You seek my demise, do you? I, whose oversight of the source brought prosperity to this land? Do not twist the truth to obfuscate your crimes. It seems you've forgotten the goddess's will. Allow me to remind you! Be on your guard, my lord. Desperate opponents are deadly, for they fight with reckless abandon. Come then. Let us settle this in honest combat. Defeat is not an option. Ha! How shall I destroy you? I swear on House End of the Saintly Seven, I will win. I must win. <laughs> on my honor as the Dawn Spear. My turn. I won't lose. There is no mercy on the battlefield. We make it up here. Here I come. Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are healed. The tides are turning. Oh. I fight for peace. Two axes. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts. The moment I win, you will be cast into the source and left there to rot! The Roselle have suffered too long under your cruelty. Mark me, Sorcelay End. You will pay for what you have done. Flames, oh. heed my call! They're closing in. It will take more than this farce of a trial to destroy me. You will pay. You will all pay. For the honor of House Wolfort. <sighs> Death must wait. I shall try my level best.
I won't lose! Here I come! This is <gasps> now! You've made oh, a great is one. mistake! No! This is not the end of me! I refuse to allow it! Shall we begin? Your wounds are good. I can keep fighting! I will end this. From where shall we strike? Unite under the Wolford banner! I must hold firm. All shall yield before my spear. That went well. This is troubling. It's not over yet. Here I come. Let me heal your wounds. Allow me. I appreciate it. Let me return the favor. From where shall we strike? Perish. The flames consume you. Victory goes to House Wolfort. Give thanks to the goddess for bestowing upon you her grace. This concludes your trial. Well fought, all of you. To think the truth had to be proved through a test of strength. It was the Hierophant's decree. None in Hyzant raise objections. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of, my lord. After all, losing the battle would have meant losing our heads. <sighs> I suppose you are right. That same day, word spread throughout Hyzant of Sorsley End's demise, and that of House End along with him. I understand Sorsley End is with the Goddess now. What a pity. He has been counted among the dead from the accident. Keep spinning those lies and soon they shall be tied around your neck. Though in truth, I'm surprised they've not done so already. Are you not pleased, milady? Shall I inform Minister Edor? Be my guest. Without me, all research grinds to a halt. My mind is without equal. But of course, Minister. I was only teasing. Would it kill you to smile for once? 
Be more aware of the words from your mouth. Remember, you are not but Edor's pawn. <laughs> Forgive me. Where are my manners? Now pray, return to your precious research. See that you complete it, for you know who. <laughs> I know full well who it serves. We're all pawns in the end. So, Lord Serenoa, what shall you do now? Well... I shall speak plainly. The Holy One wishes to aid House Wolfort. Thank you, Your Holiness. Your house is known throughout all Norzelia, and rightly so, given the vital land you control. It would be quite the blow if Esfrost's aggression spelled the end of your domain. The Hierophant tells me, a seat amongst the saintly seven shall be yours, should you desire it. And I would not hesitate to accept it, if it meant securing peace for my people. Then perhaps we can find common ground. The Hierophant, however, has a concern. I would hear it. The Roselle living in your domain. They are descendants of the sinners who dwell at the Source. That is their proper place. There they offer themselves to the Goddess in the hopes they may one day atone for their sins. The Hierophant longs to see them return to their rightful home. You would have me surrender them to you? It is not my place to make demands. I am merely to deliver unto you the word of the Hierophant. And so I have done. Saranoa, will you surrender the Roselle to Hyzant? I don't know. As you are doubtless aware, Lady Frederica, the vow of Lord Simon himself binds us to protect them. Alas, our house is not what it once was. Is that a reason to cast aside its honor? My father as well likely had a hand in orchestrating their protection. Ah, oh, my friends, I apologize that we once again meet under dire circumstances. You face a difficult choice, one I do not envy. Have you decided? This was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Plan? We did as you asked and brought Sorcelay's indiscretions to light. You knew it would not end at that. Lest you misunderstand, allow me to illuminate your position. You are not the noble hawks you think yourselves to be. You are vultures, feeding off the scraps of Sorcelay's corpse. You've got some nerve! I speak from experience when I say that the title of Saint is not to be worn lightly. Are you prepared? Prepared? For what? Doubtless you are aching to break free of your fetters, to take wing and soar. To do that, blood must be spilled, the blood of enemy friend and self alike. Your freedom lies at the end of a trail of dead. If you are not prepared to make that journey, to endure that sacrifice, then cast aside your pretensions and grovel. Grovel or bleed. Poor options, both.
In his time, Lord Simone protected the Roselle who fled Hyzant, and the village they established within the Wolfort Domain. Thirty years have passed since then. The Hierophant uses the illegal salt trade incident as leverage to demand those Roselle be sent to the source, where Hyzantian faith dictates they must reside. To secure the Hierophant's goodwill and the subsequent protection of House Wolfort, Serenoa has no other choice but to acquiesce. Thus, with House End ruined and a vacant position among the Saintly Seven to be filled, rumors of House Wolfort's ascendancy start sounding more credible than ever to the people of Hyzant. Lord Saranoa, I believe it may be in our best interest to turn over the Roselle after all. But they fought so hard to escape, Hyzant. They would never agree to return. It would be a show of good faith to the Saintly Seven and secure House Wolford's safety. If the situation calls for force, well, we must be prepared to borrow Minister Exham's words. I... I see. Give me time to think over the matter. Where is Frederica? Oh, she... She left for the source with Prince Roland. She said she wanted to see where the Roselle lived for herself. Ah. Indeed, Byzantian law requires all Roselle to make their home at the source. She is most troubled over this, Lord Saranoa. Please, if you could... I understand. I will make for the source at once. <laughs> 